guys, how's it going? Cheers back again with another episode of the Chelsea Career Mode here on Xbox One. We're into episode number 20 now, and we ended the last episode with a game against West Ham in the league. And of course, as we said then, we're starting this one just a couple of days later against them once again at home, this time in the FA Cup. Now, they started a week inside in the previous game in the league, which is weird. You would have thought they'd have wanted to, uh, to maintain some league form, but they started a very, very strong side. A lot of first teamers in this one, players such as Matty Taylor, Andy Carroll, Kevin Nolan etc but uh, Frank Lampard wanting to do very well against his previous club unfortunately puts that one over the bar but it's an early warning sign from West Ham of course we beat them 3-0 in the last game at the end of the last episode so we're looking for more of that and that turn and ball through from Kevin De Bruyne is absolutely delicious a wonderful turn and through ball and Oscar unfortunately couldn't round it off properly by uh, by finishing it you see Oscar Liner makes a great save but then he makes a mistake Adrian made a lot of mistakes in the previous game and this time it's Oscar Liner and they're uh, Arguably their number one goalkeeper makes a, a horrible mistake there. Eto shouldn't win the header in the first place and then he really shouldn't end up in the back of the net. But we are able to take a 1-0 lead and they will be disappointed with that. But De Bruyne's going to come close himself here, just rifling that one past that far post. A decent effort and again a nice turn. But this time there wasn't a finish to boot on the end of the move. And we moved into the second half. Andy Carroll using his electric pace that everyone knows he has. And uh, again showing his exquisite finishing by uh, putting it straight at Pep. Check. Actually, I think it's Mark Schwartz. So I played the I played the, the the exact same team that played against West Ham in the league earlier on in the season in the uh, the end of the last episode because this was only two or three days after that. But we've got one hell of a fixture congestion problem coming up, and we will cover that at the end of this game. But uh, they make a horrible mistake there, playing it to Oscar, and I really should have capitalised on that. I, uh, I wasn't able to put that into the back of the net, which is really unfortunate. That really would have put the game beyond any reasonable doubt, but West Ham are able to defend solidly. Good save from uh, from the goalkeeper following his horrible mistake, and then Lampard, unfortunately, had his shot blocked. We made three changes, not only for the fact that I wanted to make sure that we won the game, and to give us maybe the little bit of an emphasis on the counter-attack to finish the game off, but because of the fixture congestion, that we've previously mentioned but Kevin De Bruyne plays in Michael Essien here and that is a strike worthy of winning any football match so he's absolutely superb from Michael Essien around about 25 to 30 yards out there's no chance the goalkeeper is going to get anywhere near that just look how accurate this strike is on the replay so so good pinpoint accuracy right across into that far bottom corner that's what Michael Essien is all about from distance he's done it a few times in his career the standout one would be that goal against uh, Barcelona where he absolutely smashed one off the underside of the bar but we'll see all three replays of that goal fantastic technique on the shot and uh, oh, you just can't you can't rate goals like that highly enough and it's worthy of winning us the tie and getting us through to the quarterfinals of the FA Cup and we'll see who else is in the FA Cup just now as you see City are through against Reading Swansea are through against Middlesbrough and Arsenal are through against Norwich with Sheffield United Palace Villa Newcastle Wigan Man United QPR and Watford still to play but this is the fixture congestion coming up now if you follow me on Twitter you'll know exactly what I'm on about if you haven't noticed it already we have a game on the 26th of February on the 28th of February on the next day on the 1st of March and the next day on the 2nd of March that's three games in three days the last of which that second is a cup final against Manchester City what even is that three games in three days four games in five days what the fuck is EA doing this has been a problem for years now in the career mode and you would have thought the sort of technology and all the effort that goes into making this real and like that was their whole the whole promotional thing was it's it just got real quote unquote it really didn't if i'm going to get three games in a row especially when one of them is a cup final it's just completely game breaking and uh, i know i've gone on a little bit of a rant here but i was so so livid when that happened if you follow me on twitter you will have seen me absolutely explode with uh, with fury i just could not believe that that is going to happen so i really have an issue there and i'll let you know at the end of the game what i'm going to do about it but we're going to come back to the game plan now to try and get away from me just being angry because we've got real madrid at home in the champions league it's an absolutely huge tie a massive massive fix probably the biggest one of the season so far 
apart from that win against City in the previous episode. So uh, we really wanted to get away from this one with a positive result, if at all possible. But of course, in these huge ties, there is a lot of, n not necessarily nerves, but a lot of respect for the opposition. And they very rarely end up being flowing end-to-end -end affairs. It's very, very tight, very technical, and uh, they're normally very, very close indeed. And Torres came close himself there, it's putting us 1-0 up in first half stoppage time, because he has very, very comfortable and uh, confident of that going past his far uh, post even though it was particularly close to it and uh, Ramirez who's great technique there and again Casillas no worries whatsoever really really confident that's going past this far post despite it being only a couple of inches wide and perhaps that just is a, a sign of his extreme experience in the sport but fantastic technique from Ramirez but so they're going to do a really nice move down the right hand side not really too much pace involved Kadira and Xabi Alonso but just the accuracy of passing really sets them apart and uh, they're able to get a decent effort there but unfortunately for them Xabi Alonso is shot isn't as accurate as his passing but we get a let off here a couple of really untidy deflections fortunately Matt is able to pick up from a defensive mistake and finishes with a wonder strike absolutely superb from Juan Matt they obviously nearly left the club in the January transfer window we're into the end of February and uh, he's had a very very good month uh, he obviously scored against Liverpool in the FA Cup just a couple of days after the transfer window closed and he's made the difference here in this massive massive game against Real Madrid at Stamford Bridge first leg of the Champions League knockout round quarter final I think it is and that puts us in a commanding position moving forward for not only the rest of the game but the rest of the two leg tie but Kadir is going to get involved again somehow manages to just brush the defender aside unfortunately we're able to get a block on that shot by Luis Suarez obviously made his big money transfer move in the uh, in the January transfer window 31 and a half million pounds but not even the 80 million pounds of Ronaldo can get them a goal here fantastic uh, strike but uh, unfortunately for them not accurate enough which was kind of uh, a running theme for them in that game we are able to come out victorious a 1-0 win in the first leg which means if we can just get a draw of any kind at the Bernabeu in the next game we will be through to the next round of the Champions League of course we're in the final of the Capital One Cup as you can see there but not only we're in the final we've got a game on the Friday the Saturday and the fucking Sunday so I've been led to believe by people on Twitter that uh, you actually you actually lose less fitness by simming games now I hate the idea of simming games but if EA are going to break the rules I'm going to break the rules as well I'm what I'm planning on doing is simming the Friday game and the Saturday game and using a complete reserve team in both games will take a hit in our Premier League form but if we can start a fully fresh 100% fit first team in that game against Manchester City then we stand a chance of coming away from this season with some silverware at the very least but that is going to bring this episode to a close guys I do apologize for the fact that I'm going to have to sim those games but it's just something that is completely unavoidable if I try and play the games and rotate the squad it's going to end up in us losing all three potentially picking up horrendous injuries to numerous players and it's just going to completely ruin the series or at least this first season potentially end up in us losing our jobs so it's not a risk I'm willing to take so I'm going to sim those two games and we'll show you the footage of that at the beginning of the next episode although the next episode on Monday will primarily be a live commentary from that Capital One Cup final against Manchester City so oh, I just I can't apologise enough and it pains me to have to do it because I'm really OCD about making this a realistic career mode and I hate simming games but I just have no other option whatsoever so uh, I know you guys can probably tell from the uh, the way this commentary has gone that I'm just so so angry and upset the fact that I'm going to have to break uh, my big my big rule and my OCD but uh, that's how things go sometimes I'm afraid and that is how it's going to roll in this one so it's going to bring this episode to a close I do, I do apologise for that but please do feel free to leave the video a like if you did enjoy of course if you aren't subscribed to the channel already then feel free to do so there will be a link in the description and an annotation on screen over that little subscribe button so you can do so and if you missed the previous episode from yesterday there will be an annotation over that snippet of gameplay to take you to that video but that's all for today guys thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.